Hey guys, let's talk about the scales. Let's talk about progress and why they're not shifting either way, even though you're in a deficit or for some a surplus because you're building muscle. Um, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to use a deficit as an example. So you're not seeing the scales move. You're in a deficit. They moved to begin with. You lost a lot of water, glycogen, body fat, muscle. You went to the toilet, okay? The scales might drop really quickly to begin with and then they don't drop as much or they don't drop as quickly. What you should be doing is taking photos, measurements. You hear this all the time, right? You hear this all the time. Take photos, measurements. Why? Because the scales will not always move. They measure gravity. That is the best way I can describe it. So if you're holding on to water, which happens quite a lot, especially if you drop body fat in a quick space of time, if you haven't been to the toilet, if you've had a high carb meal, even in a deficit, the carbs hold four times the amount of water in your body. So they're not always going to shift. So what will happen is you're going to get on the scales and you're not going to see change. You'll be like, what is the point? It's not doing a thing. When really you could be losing the body fat, inches, lots of different things like that okay um especially if you're training as well your muscles are going to be hungry so when you eat it's going to feed the muscles there's going to be lots of different things going on in your body and you're going to get on the scales the next day and they might maintain or they might go up slightly and you'll be like what's going on this is hard it doesn't work yes it will be working i'm also going to tell you about the lipids so you have your fat cell here and that your fat is in your fat cell okay so in that fat cell you've got your lipid and what happens when you're burning, breathing, expiring that um, fat cell? It's going to then replace with water because the cell is going to say, oh my gosh, I'm not going to say anything. But the, the cell is going to be like, I need to replace what you've just lost with water. So replace itself with water. And then when it's ready, it will expel that water. It's going to hold it with water thinking you're going to replace it with fluids again, with, with lipids, excuse me. And when you don't, it will release the water. So that's another reason why keeping hydration up during fat loss is important but then people fear it because they say the scales are going to go up hey it doesn't matter if the scales go up if your body fat is going down right that's what you should be thinking of speak to you soon